So before this video gets too far ahead, I just want to let you guys know I do have a link in the description below where you guys can actually buy plush that I've won from arcade games and a bunch of other places from claw machines and everything else. They also come with an autograph card, so go down, check out the link description below. What is poppin' y'all? Hope you're doing great, doing fantastic, all that good stuff. So we are on our way to the teeth doctor today. Yes, I gotta get my teeth looked at. I, uh, when I got my wisdom teeth pulled out about a month or so ago, they said that I have a cavity, but they couldn't get me in until now to get it looked at and figured out what the hell they're gonna do with the situation. So hopefully they can fix it today. If they can't, I'm gonna be a little bit annoyed, but it isn't like terribly bothering me. Um, it's way in the back over here at the bottom that needs to get taken care of. But yeah, hopefully they get it taken care of today and they're gonna check everything else and make sure everything's good. Everything else doesn't really bother me. Everything else seems pretty, pretty okay, but who knows? You go here and then they're like, oh yeah, you gotta get this done, you gotta get that done. You're just like, Phew. But anyways though, I am making my way to the teeth doctor and I got a freaking uh, insight. My buddy Thomas sent me a video of the One Bite Pizza. So if you guys do not know what the One Bite Pizza is or Dave Portnoy, well, you need to go search One Bite Pizza Reviews and you'll see Dave. And he literally tries pizza from all over the place. So definitely go and check him out. But he ended up coming out with his own pizza and it's called One Bite Pizza and uh, it sells at Walmart and I think that's it. I think it only you can only get it from Walmart. But Thomas sent me a video or a picture or whatnot of the pizzas and I was like, oh snap, we gotta try it. So I think that's what's gonna happen in today's video is we're going to the tea doctor and then I think I'm gonna try to go to Walmart and pick up some of those pizzas so we can do a one bite pizza review, uh, test thing, whatever and stuff and things. So yeah. I will pick y'all back up once we get to the teeth doctor and uh, whatnot and things. All right, we're leaving the dentist and heck to the yes. Nothing, nothing's crazy going on in my tooth. I thought I needed a filling or whatever, but they said that it was hitting a little high and uh, they had to grind it down a little bit. So they grinded it down. Teeth are all shiny and good. Um, they cleaned them while I was there. They said, you want to get a cleaning? I said, yeah, might as well. So they did the cleaning. They did the... Uh, um, they grinded my tooth down this back here because I thought it needed a filling, but uh, yeah, I'm good. I feel 100. I feel literally better than when I went in. <laughs> all in all though, we're getting the heck out of here. I'm gonna go over to the Walmart and try to get some of these pizzas. Let's go. All right, well, we made it here to Walmart and we are looking for the pizzas. I know they're here because Thomas sent me a video. He said they're at one of the end caps. So here we go, we're gonna find them. Dun, 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 we found them. Here they are, the freaking one bite pizzas. Let's go. Boom, so we're gonna get three meat. We're gonna get pepperoni, gotta go with that. And we gotta find a cheese one right there, cheese. I'm not all a fan about the Supreme, so we're just gonna stick with these ones. So each pizza is 6.48 is what it said on the price tag back there. I definitely had to go with the cheese one just because if you guys already know, Dave says you can't make a good pizza with just cheese and sauce and crust, then the pizza ain't really worth the crap. So we got the pepperoni and the meat. So we're gonna go over to our buddy Thomas's house and we're gonna cook them up and see which one's the best. So as I was getting ready to leave, I thought about it. I was like, what if see if they have this new candy that I haven't found yet? I went back there and they freaking had it. It's the Nerd Clusters, but it's the very berry flavor. So they actually had them and it was the last bag. So let's freaking go. We're gonna check out and go to Thomas's. Let's go. All right, we're out of Walmart. We got our pizzas and our freaking candy. I'm super excited about trying all of this stuff. Also, the other day I found a bunch of candy I've never tried before or even ever seen before. There's Kool-Aid flavored candies. There's a bunch of other different candies that I'm gonna be doing a video on. So I'm gonna add those wild or very berry. That's what they're called, very berry. Uh, nerd clusters because I've tried the regular ones, but I've never tried the very berry ones, which was absolutely insane. I went back, it was the very last bag, but we're getting out of here. Like I've already said, I think three times, we're going to Thomas's house, we're cooking up these pizzas, and we're gonna freaking smash on them and see if they're any good. All right, we made it here to Thomas's house. We have to be kind of quiet going in because I think he's on a Zoom call. Also, must be trash today. All right, y'all, so here you can see on the back of the pizza, one bite, and the rest is history. You guys can pause it there and read that signed by dave portnoy so yes this is what it's saying to do preheat the oven to 450 place it or unwrap it and then place it right on the middle rack and it says 10 to 13 minutes or until golden browned and cheese is melted and then let it sit for two to three minutes so we're going to start with the basic gotta go with the cheese five cheese let's go now to figure out his oven bake 
and I think we got it. 450, is that what it said? I think that's what it said. 450, yep. So we got 450. Um, is that it? Start. Maybe not. Maybe so. All right, moment of truth. The pizza is going in straight to the rack. There it is. I set the timer for 10 to 13 minutes, so I did 10 minutes to start off, and then if we need to, we'll go three more minutes, but it's in there. Moment of truth, it says it's done. Oh, it's looking pretty freaking fluffy. All right, so I think we give it another minute or two, and I think we'll be set. Also, Thomas is in the building. So I gave the responsibility to Thomas to uh, pull this pizza out of here. He said, we're just gonna put it right on top of this box here. See if he does it. If he drops it, well, we're gonna get it on video. Hopefully he doesn't though, because that looks pretty good though. Heck to the yes. Nice. Fluffy? Fluffy boy. Now we just let it sit for, it says two minutes before we do anything to it. All right, so as this one is resting, we're gonna open up the pepperoni pizza and throw it in the oven, because might as well, right? Might as well. We're gonna try them all, all three of them, the meat, pepperoni and the cheese but the cheese you gotta start with the cheese so the cheese ain't any good well i don't know we'll see what happens with the rest of these so here we go here's the first look the pepperoni ones a lot of pepperonis on there Woohoo! all right so the pepperoni is in the oven now this one has rested for about a minute we're gonna let it rest for about another minute and we're gonna start cutting it up but you can tell it is definitely definitely crispy and fluffy looks really freaking good all right, Thomas is gonna cut the pizza. Oh, you got a crisp to it for sure. Damn. Huh. All right, so we're gonna cut some pieces up and then we're gonna put them on a plate. And we're gonna test it and see how, uh, how it is. We got the pizzas. Not very much flop. Cheers. 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 It is crispy. So here we go. See what we're gonna, see what we think about them. A lot of cheese. A lot of cheese. Not bad. No. I don't think it's bad. No. I mean, I'm not a huge just cheese fan. Uh, but say, I, I need to try that pepperoni. I mean, the crust isn't bad, though. Crust is not bad. Soft isn't bad. I gotta try it back here. No, yeah, you gotta try this back half. Get that little crunch. Definitely. For, for frozen pizza, I mean... It's not bad. White. And I'd say it's on like DiGiorno level. Yeah. Yeah. Like, cause you can't really compare this to like, I don't feel like you can compare this pizza to like, uh, what's it called? Like, 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 like a, a pizza store. hut or yeah, Domino's. Yeah. Even that, like you couldn't really compare it to like a pizza pizza cause they have to make these and they freeze them and then so on and things, but not bad. No, what not would bad. you give it out of 10? Seven, seven, eight. Yeah. Seven, eight. We'll, we'll, we'll try the pepperoni and we'll see what the pepperoni is. So on. this one here for me, I would say I would say seven is a good score. Yeah, that's not a bad score. So I would say, but I'm not, but I'm, I think your score was all right. I'm going to go with seven, four. Seven, four. All right, y'all, the pepperoni is done. Moving on to that one. All right, so here goes Thomas getting out the pepperoni pizza. That one looks pretty good. So here we go. Nice and crispy looking. I fingered it a little bit. Oh, good job. All right, so there's an up close look of the pepperoni pizza. Got some cheese on top. Got the cheese under the pepperoni. Looks pretty good. We're gonna let it sit for a couple minutes and then we'll cut it up and eat it. And as this one over here is resting for the two or three minutes, we're gonna throw in the meat pizza. So here we go. All right, the three meat pizza is in the oven now. Start the timer, 10 minutes. And there we go. All right, so Thomas is in a meeting right now. So I am going to try the pepperoni by myself and uh, he might join us here in a minute. But this right here is the cheese pepperoni pizza. It is still a little crispy like the last one and uh, a lot of pepperoni on it. So here we go. Hot. Mm. Yeah. I like the pepperoni a lot better than the cheese. Let's find out. The pepperonis are really good. Oh, here's Thomas. I'm trying the, the 
Still got that crunch. And you've got a little bit more of a crunch. Actually, because the oven's even more heated up, but yeah, doing it in succession, but yeah. I'm more of a fan of this one because I like the meat. I think I'm gonna really like the three meat one the best out of all of them. But man. And, I, and I'm always a grease guy. I mean, as silly as that sounds, I mean, it it's not really too greasy. Has a little bit more because of the pepperoni, though. Yeah, but it's not terrible. Definitely adds to the flavor. Hmm. So you gave the last one between a seven and an eight. Oh, I'd call this an eight point five. Eight five? Yeah. Yeah. This is clearly in the eights. I'm gonna say eight. Eight. Yeah. Eight five. You gave it. I'm gonna give it eight four. Eight four eight five. Right on the money, I think this pizza is mm -hmm. at. Really good. I'm excited for the meat one. It'll be coming out here in a couple minutes. We'll try that one. All right, so the three meat pizza is done. It's about to come out of the oven now. All right, here we go. Third time, hopefully not the charm, Thomas, where you drop this on the floor. We're gonna find out right here. This one looks the best out of all of them so far because I am a huge like meat lovers fan when it comes to pizza. Yeah. And there it is. Whew. This one even looks more crispy than the last two. I think the oven, I think definitely the oven's like heating up, but uh, yeah, you can kind of see up under there. Nice crust, nice cheese going on there. I'm super excited about this one. All right, here we go. We're going to cut this one up and see what it's all about. All right. That cut was terrible. <laughs> Trying to cut and look at the camera it is not an ideal move. So that's probably why I should have let Thomas should have let Thomas cut it. I can't speak either, I guess. Here we go. That was a little bit better. Uh, well, maybe not. <laughs> Can Blake cut a pizza? No, he cannot. I cut the last one all right, but here we go. This one here will work. I've got to keep all the toppings on the pizza. There it is. So we did the cheese. We did the pepperoni. And now it's time for the three meat. Sausage, pepperoni, and I think ham. So no, I was wrong. It is sausage, pepperoni, and bacon. Which is honestly my three favorite toppings to have on pizza overall. So let's get into it. So Thomas is almost done with his meeting, but I'm gonna try it here and give you guys a score and then we'll get his score. I wanna get it as it's still hot, fresh, all that good stuff. So I can give it an honest score. Honestly, this one is a little less, uh, it's more thick, definitely a little more thick crust it feels like. It's not as like, um, I don't know what the word I'm trying to think of. It's not as crispy feeling, but when I pick it up, that's basically, it's not as crispy feeling, but you can see down there, it definitely looks pretty crispy. So here we go. Hmm. Definitely a thicker crust. A little weird. Hmm. Sausage. I can't really taste the bacon in it. Really, I want to taste the sausage and pepperoni, but not bad. I'll get some like right here on the corner. I'm going to go for this corner. Mm. That was good. That's pretty good. I think I kind of like the pepperoni better. I gotta give that one an 8-4, the pepperoni. This one, I'm going to say like I'm gonna put it back down in the category with the cheese. I'm gonna say like seven, nine. You went down? I think it went down. My personal opinion, I think it went down. I think it, I think, I think it's right in around the same category because the, the crust is a little thicker. It feels a little thicker than the rest of them. A little weird. Definitely a little more doughy. Yeah, a little more doughy, but it's still same consistency as the rest of them. Silly question, did you double check and make sure I didn't call for more time? I did check okay. it and said the same thing, so it just kind of seems weird. It, it, it is definitely thicker crust. I don't know. It's weird. And I, I'd put it right in between. I mean, the sausage are real good on it. I wanted to go in between, but I, I gave it like a seven, uh, seven, eight, because I think that's like, it's pretty consistent to like, to me, to the cheese, because it doesn't have, it has bacon, sausage, and pepperoni. I, have, I don't taste any pepperoni or any bacon on it at all. I don't see any bacon. I taste no bacon. Mm, might be those little bits, but. Yeah, it's definitely, like right here, this is a piece, this is the bacon. That's like one little. The bacon is so significantly small, you can't even taste it. I think the 
the pepperoni and the saucer is definitely overpowered the whole pizza. But I think they should have went with the more thinner crust. But I understand they had to go with probably the thicker crust because it had to cook the toppings and everything. Maybe. I don't know. But my personal favorite would definitely be just plain pepperoni. Pepperoni is good. Plain pepperoni is great. Cheese is a little bit underwhelming. Pepperoni is right on the spot, I feel like. And we're going to lose you guys. Hope. I mean, if I, if I was to reevaluate. Yeah. Now, this would be using like solid numbers. I'd probably put like the cheese at a six myself. Yeah. Until you got to the back end of the crust, and it's like a 6.5. Yeah, it's pretty good. I, I'd probably put the three meat at like a seven. Okay. And then I'd probably put the pepperoni at an eight. Yeah. I'm pretty close to that too, yeah. So, like I said, I would think maybe this might be like a significantly higher. I don't know exactly what I gave. I think I gave the cheese like a like a 7.4. Yeah. I think I gave the cheese a 7.4. I think I gave, so I'm going to give, I gave this a 7.9. And I gave that an 8.4, the pepperoni 8.4. So, I truly don't think them are bad numbers. I think that's what it is. Um, for frozen pizza scale, definitely not the best pizza I've ever had. But if I was to go to the store, I mean, for six fifty or whatever it is, not a bad pizza for six dollars fifty cents. Sure, if scale. it goes on sale, it'd be a good price. My favorite part of the pizza though is definitely like this back crust part. I don't know if you guys can really tell, but it's like they put some kind of like cheese up inside that crust or, or on the top of the crust. And how they get the crunch but still make it soft is kind of weird, but. Not bad, not bad pizza overall. What would you think? Overall experience of the pizzas? Not bad. I'd buy it again. I'd buy it again too. So there y'all go. That's a review. We're leaving Thomas's house and I am officially Thomas's new mailman, I guess, because I'm dropping off his package to the post office. <laughs> so anyways, uh, that's the pizza review. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. We're gonna run into the post office now and uh, Drop this stuff off. All right, so leaving the post office now. Got your package dropped off, Thomas. Woohoo! So, dropped it off of here in Iberia. So, if you're wondering why the heck it says Iberia, well, I dropped it off in Iberia instead of your town. So, you're good to go. Anyways, we're heading back to the house. I think I'm going to get some more stuff cleaning done in the garage. Load this car up for tomorrow. I have a gig. And uh, yeah, I think we're good to go after that. So I'll see you guys back at the house. All right, y'all, we're back to the house now. I'm cleaning up the garage and getting this crap out of the way. Got uh, everything going on over here. And I got my fog machine out. As you can tell, the whole garage is fogged up. Let me turn that off, watch. This thing is no joke. It will throw some fog up to like probably six feet, six, eight feet. It's crazy, maybe even farther. But uh, I did this maybe for like, less than a minute and the whole garage is already fogged up but i'm trying to run out all the juice out of this and then i'm going to put some of this cleaner and run the cleaner through it so because i don't remember the last time i actually used it so all in all though the garage is coming along all this stuff will be done hopefully well i'm not gonna say hopefully because i know it will be done by tonight <laughs> this is crazy the whole garage is freaking smoked up and then you come over here you can see it coming out the doors it's coming out this way this is hilarious anyways though like i said i gotta get all this stuff cleaned out of it and the best way to do it is just run it because it hasn't been ran in so long but yeah it's pretty hilarious i got the span on as well but uh <laughs> yeah, this thing is no joke no freaking joke can't make this up the neighbors literally just came down here to literally check and see if the house is on fire from like eight houses that way <laughs> they were like we just want to come down and make sure everything was okay <laughs> If it looks like this right here and they're eight houses down and they seen it, oh my, <laughs> it's crazy. Absolute crazy, but we're getting her cleaned out. So it's all that matters. <laughs> I guess I could do it outside, but what's the fun of that? Well, we got the fog machine all cleaned up. We're good to go there. All the lights, I've checked both these lights. They work great. I am going to test this laser out. I think everything's in the box. I don't know, I haven't checked it out in a long time. So I'm gonna do that finish getting everything moved, cleaned, and whatnot and things, then uh, I think I'm gonna load my car up tonight, so then I don't have to do it tomorrow. So, all in all though, it's coming together. Well, I went to go check it, and uh, there's no power cable in the little laser thing there, so I guess we ain't gonna check it. But it is coming together, like I said, so I'm gonna finish doing all this stuff, and then I will come back to you. We are done. All the tables are gone. All this stuff over here will be in my car tomorrow. Everything's pushed up against this wall, nice and neat. Some of the stuff will be going to my storage unit and uh, whatnot and things, but 
And some of this stuff is actually getting sold as well, I think. So yeah, not bad, not bad. You definitely fit like two more vehicles in this thing now. So good to go there, but we are done for today. So I'm gonna end the video. Pretty eventful day. So like I say every single day, keep on keeping on. Don't let him bring you down. We'll see you all tomorrow. Peace. Thank you.